The Ruger standard pistol started Sturm Ruger in 1949. An absolutely fabulous classic design, still one of our best-selling guns today. But with the emergence of the SR series pistols, the SR9, SR40, it was time for an SR22. This is a compact, lightweight rimfire pistol that is designed to be as user-friendly as you could imagine, and it's designed to be reliable with just about any kind of ammunition. First off, it comes with two grips, one narrow grip and one larger grip. They can be just pulled off and switched out depending on your hand size. It comes with two magazines, and each magazine is supplied with two base plates, one standard base plate and one of these uh, finger ledge base plates. Gun itself is full of features. It has cocking serrations front and rear. We have ambidextrous decocker safety, ambidextrous magazine release. It has three dot sights, fully adjustable at the rear, and the rear blade is also reversible to a plain black blade. It has a Picatinny rail on the bottom for mounting lights, lasers, uh, other accessories, and one of the easiest takedowns in the industry. Just flip this lever up, pull the slide back, lift it up, and off. And this new SR-22 pistol from Ruger was designed to work with all types of ammunition, not just high velocity ammunition. So to show that, we're going to load up the magazines with some standard velocity here. And notice we have a button that is easy on your thumbs for loading. And then we'll load up the second mag, two different types of high velocity. And we'll give it a go. Now the second magazine. Six twenty-two. What's the twenty-two stand for? Well, twenty-two long rifle, of course. So a real live two-two-six pistol chambered in twenty-two caliber. What a fun gun to shoot and real economical. Get out there on the range, do a lot of plinking. Great starter piece. But on the bottom end, it's a two-two-six. So you've got your E2 grips. Really comfortable, get in there, real shootable, feels nice in the hand. You've got a double action slash single action pistol. What's that mean? First shot's double action, you got about 10 pounds right there. After the slide cycles, the hammer's going to cock back. And you've got a 4.4 pound single action trigger. So real nice shootable platform. Going to come with a couple 10 round magazines in 22. What's really cool about this 226-22, if you wanted to, you could get a caliber exchange kit and you can actually chamber this up in 357 SIG. 9mm or 40 cal by simply swapping out the top end and the mags. All that comes in the caliber exchange kit. So that's a really cool feature if you want to get out there and maybe carry this gun and maybe practice with it with 22. So real good option. The sights are real cool. You have contrast sights with a nice big white dot on the front. Really uh, quick target acquisition and a two dot sight in the back. That's The rear sight's actually a little bit unique. So the rear sight is adjustable for elevation and windage. So you really want to dial it in at whatever distance you like to plink at with your 22 and that rear sight will allow you to do that. So that's the P226 22 caliber pistol. Really nice, really fun gun to shoot. Gallup, captain of Team Smith & Wesson here with the newest 22 LR from Smith & Wesson, the SW22 Victory. Now this gun is a lot of fun to shoot. It has a lot of heft with a stainless steel bull barrel and it has a lot of other great features as well. Let's start with the sights. First off, it comes with fiber optic sights, both front and rear sights, and the rear sight is completely adjustable for windage and elevation. The gun also comes with a Picatinny rail adjustment so you can mount your favorite optic. The grip is very comfortable. It comes with a textured back strap and front strap, as well as removable side panel grips, so you can get that great grip you're looking for on the gun. It also has a textured magazine release button and an adjustable trigger stop, so you can get the perfect shot every time. Now one thing that sets the SW22 apart from its competitors is the fact that it's so easy to take down. Just one screw loosens everything up and you can take this gun apart, change out for an aftermarket barrel and easily clean it. The SW22 Victory is an excellent entry level target pistol. It's great for new shooters, youth shooters and women and it's also an excellent gun for steel challenge and even bullseye. 
SW-22 Victory has been tested for reliability with a variety of 22 ammunition and also comes with two 10-round magazines. CZ-75, a legend in the firearms world, the CZ-75 was one of the first Wonder 9s with a high capacity double stack magazine, excellent ergonomics and a hammer forged barrel, it has built a reputation for reliability and accuracy. With over 1 million CZ-75s produced, an entire family of models has sprung up around the original design. From compacts to competition models, single action only to service pistols with a decocker, the 75 platform has a model for any specific need. From target shooting to concealed carry to uniform duty, the CZ-75. This is a Ruger LCP2 chambered in 22 long rifle. It's a fantastically compact little gun, but still very easy to shoot owing to low recoil and light direct force. Now, if you already own a 380 Auto version of the LCP, then you know there's quite a bit of recoil, and it's not so much fun to practice with. This makes a great training opportunity where you can get good trigger squeezes, good sight pictures, rounds down range. Alternatively, if you don't like the recoil of 380 at all, or you can't really manipulate the side on a larger gun, it's a great alternative. Now, the 22LR version features a two and three quarter inch stainless steel barrel, and it's a tilt barrel blowback. So that barrel drops down and makes feeding that much easier. This feeds from a 10 round magazine, giving you honest 10 plus one capacity. And we're able to fit those rounds in the same length as this LCP magazine with this patent pending floor plate design. Now, making this even easier to manipulate are these slide cocking ears located on the back of the slide. This just gives a little surface for your fingers to purchase on. You don't have to squeeze really hard to grip the slide and get the gun into action. Very low recoil, nice easy trigger. This is a secure action trigger, just like the bigger center fire guns, crisp trigger break, clean reset, and still has last round hold open. Is a training pistol? This features a new manual external safety. Push forward to fire requires just a nice firm click. So you can easily push it to fire, but require deliberate action to return it back to safe. Additionally, there's a magazine disconnect, making sure the gun won't fire with the magazine removed. It's no substitute for safe gun handling, but it's a nice layer of security. Viridian Red Laser that fits the LCP2LR, available on Shop Ruger, makes a great addition to this small pistol. New in the Mark IV line is the Ruger 2245 Tactical. The 2245 Tactical features Picatinny rails both on the top and the bottom of the barreled receiver. That way you can add lights and lasers underneath and you can have an optical sight on top. You also have a fully adjustable rear sight. The 4.4 inch barrel features a half 28 threaded end, perfect for use with the Ruger silencer or other muzzle accessories. This one features the 2245 grip angle, which matches a 1911 and has rubber grips. 
like all Mark IVs, it has positive magazine ejection. You can see how that pops out. And of course, it features the Mark IV takedown system. With the magazine removed, put the ambidextrous safety on safe. We'll drop the bolt, press the takedown button in the rear. The receiver pivots up and off of the grip frame. Then you can remove the bolt for cleaning and reassemble just as easily as it came apart. New from Ruger. I'm Kurt Hindle with Ruger Firearms, and I'm here today to show you the latest revolver in the Ruger line. This is the GP100 and 22 long rifle. Now, the GP100 has been around since the mid 1980s and is one of the mainstays in the Ruger revolver line. It's always been a 357 Magnum, and we've done some special product offerings in other calibers, but now we've got the capability of shooting 22 long rifle in this gun. A number of changes have been made to the GP100 to handle 22. One of which is we've done a lot of development on the firing pin location and geometry so that we're able to put a lighter trigger pull in this gun than you would find in other 22 long rifles. We've started with an all stainless steel construction, stainless steel frame, cylinder, and barrel, and married that up with the original GP100 rubber grip with wood panel inserts. This grip's been out of production for a long time and we've just reintroduced it, so it gives it a real striking look. We've got a half underlug barrel and it's a smaller diameter, so the gun balances real well. We've added a narrow spurred hammer and a smooth trigger for comfortable shooting and adjustable sights with a white outlined fully adjustable elevation and windage rear sight and a light gathering green dot front sight for quick target acquisition. This is a really comfortable gun to shoot and just a lot of fun to shoot. Let's try putting some rounds down range and see how it works. LCRX. This is the latest addition to the Ruger LCR family. It has all the same great features as the LCR family with the added addition of a spurred external hammer. This is a great feature because not only can you shoot the firearm double action, but with the spurred hammer, shoot it single action as well. It comes with a lot of great features. The Hogue Tamer grip, like is on all the LCRs. You have a polymer fire control housing. This holds all of the lock work, including the frictionless cam system that Ruger's patented on all the LCRs to give you an improved double action trigger pull. You have the aluminum cylinder frame that houses a stainless steel cylinder with a black ion bond coating, stainless steel barrel, and a pinned front sight. The trigger pull on this is outstanding in double action but you add the great crisp single action trigger pull and you've got a really fun, comfortable 38 Special to shoot. The Ruger LCRX, like all of the Ruger LCRs, is a great personal defense as well as concealed carry option. Fits well into a jacket like I'm wearing today or into a concealed carry holster, either ankle, inside the waistband. So there's a lot of carry options with this. The spurred hammer also gives you the ability to shoot this single action, which is always great just to be able to have some fun out on the range just practicing with your friends. The Ruger LCRX is a great all-around gun. You've got the double action mode from the original LCR groundbreaking design, as well as the added benefit of a spurred hammer for single action shooting. For Graham Rockwell, Ruger Firearms, down here in Cleveland, Texas, and I'm with Ruger shooting team member Randy Rogers talking about the new Ruger Wrangler in 22 lr Randy, how do you like it so far? Graham, when I shot this gun, I was so excited. You know, I've shot a lot of single actions over the years, and I thought I knew what I was getting into, but I was so surprised. This gun is so easy to shoot, there's so little recoil, and the grip feels so good in my hand. Yeah, we've got the same grip as the single six, so all your holsters and grip panels from single six will work for this firearm. And it's great, as you said, uh, with the recoil, it makes it great for a new shooter or an experienced shooter. I love teaching new shooters on single actions, and a single action in 22 long rifle is perfect. Single actions are so easy to work. You pull the hammer back, you fire the trigger when you're ready, and the Wrangler, just like with all Ruger revolvers, has that safety transfer bar in it. 
So between that and the accuracy, I think shooters are going to be happy. Now you mentioned the accuracy there. We have the same cold hammer forged barrel that we do on other Ruger single actions. And we've done some work here to help reduce the cost of the overall firearm by using an aluminum alloy frame and some newer CNC machining practices to bring the total cost down. All models will be Cerakoted, even the black standard model. We have a burnt bronze Cerakote on this model, and there will also be a silver Cerakote model to start. Graham, all my friends.